On a bright October day, the Spirit of Goodyear began a one-week farewell tour to say goodbye to Akron, Ohio. Akron is the home of Goodyear's corporate headquarters and where the airship has been based since the year 2000, after being christened by astronaut Dr. Sally Ride. It's a great honor for me to christen such an American icon, and I have to admit I've always wanted to ride in one. Once christened, the blimp served 14 years as Goodyear's ambassador of the sky. During her final nostalgic week in Akron, the blimp flew high above the city, thanking everyone for the great memories. We're here standing in front of the awe-inspiring Spirit of Goodyear, which will be leaving the Akron area this week to join its sister ship, the Spirit of Innovation, in Pompano Beach, Florida. It will operate there through the spring of 2014, where it will be decommissioned and retired. The reason the Spirit of Goodyear is leaving Akron is first, it's going south to continue doing some work before it retires. And secondly, we're building the new Goodyear NT, and the, that ship is very large. It's 54 feet longer than this current airship of 192 feet long. So we just don't have enough space in the hangar to house the Spirit of Goodyear and to build the new NT. Inside the hangar, work has begun on the new airship that will replace the Spirit of Goodyear blimp. Except this ship will not be a blimp, but a Goodyear Zeppelin NT. This airship design was customized specifically for Goodyear's mission. It's larger, faster, and has a semi-rigid frame supporting the envelope and its various components. So, will it still be called the Goodyear blimp? That's a great question. We do get that question and we get that comment when we call it the blimp. Uh, I call it the Goodyear blimp NT, NT being new technology. But in fact, technically it is not a blimp. A blimp has no internal structure. This is a semi-rigid airship. It has a, a partial structure. Uh, but in terms of familiarity and what people want to call it, we will not be criticizing anybody who wants to call it the Goodyear blimp. If they want to say Goodyear blimp NT, that's so much the better. With our cameras rolling, we took one last ride over the great landmarks of Akron during the Spirit of Good Years final week in town. Flying above Akron in the blimp on a beautiful fall day was an exhilarating experience. The flight was smooth as silk and gave us the feeling of floating in a bubble. On our flight, we asked Jerry Hissom, chief pilot of the Spirit of Goodyear, about flying the airship, the excitement of the new Goodyear NT, and about saying goodbye to his old friend. This airship was assembled in 2000, and uh, between this and the NT, there's a little bit of difference in control inputs uh, with the GZ-20, which is the airship we're flying right now, my control is more manual and we have uh, two primary controls and the, the first one is on my right hand side here, it's called the elevator wheel and it moves the horizontal surfaces which pitch up and down and when I move that wheel, those surfaces move up and down and that pitches the bag up and down so that controls my altitude. Down on my feet are rudder pedals 
and those control the vertical surfaces which move left and right. So the airship yaws left and right and that's how I steer it with my feet. Now going into the NT, the NT is a fly-by-wire system and it controls three fins in the back but it has a joystick and has servos that move the, the control surfaces. So whereas this is more manual, the NT is more uh, electrically driven with fly-by-wire system. Uh, we're coming into the last few months of operation with the GZ20 and it's kind of a bittersweet ending but uh, we have a new airship called the NT that's coming out but uh, this ship right here that's being retired to Spirit of Goodyear uh, I was there the first day it was uh, flown at Wingfoot Lake here which was back in 2000 and hopefully I'll be there the last day it uh, gets flown down in Florida so that's pretty exciting uh, pretty sad but it's exciting to see the new NT come out we're looking looking forward to it The blimp made a special pass over several landmarks. The old Goodyear Zeppelin air dock, which was built in 1929 and now used by Lockheed Martin, and Goodyear's new corporate headquarters. The blimp attracts a crowd wherever it goes, but this is no ordinary crowd. Over 2,000 Goodyear employees gathered outside to wave goodbye to their beloved airship and share their thoughts about its retirement. It's great that after working here for so long, just to see the blimp flying overhead. My life's goal is to get a free ride on the blimp one day. The blimp's been a part of Akron for so many years that it's pretty sad to see it go, but we're excited to have a new one coming. We're excited to see it. Yeah, very sad. You know, it's uh, Akron icon. Well, I never got a ride, so I'd like to take a ride. <laughs> it was now time to end our ride and head for home. Landing in the blimp was just as fun as taking off. The skill and finesse used by the pilot to bring the airship in for a gentle landing was truly amazing. The Spirit of Goodyear actually has a very long history, especially the passenger gondola. The GZ2020 airship is the most successful airship design ever. For example, ever since 1969, one has been flying, and by the time that 2017 comes around, when the last one comes out of service, the design would have been flying for 48 years. As a part of that design history of the GZ2020 airship is the airship behind me, Spirit of Goodyear. Its control car carries the serial number 4118 and the national registration number N3A. Originally, it was built brand new as America N3A in 1982 and was in service for about nine years, 10 months in Houston, Texas. Then in 1992, it was refurbished for the first time and put into service as Stars and Stripes N3A and put into service in Pompano Beach, Florida for about seven years. Then again, in the year 2000, it was put into service and refurbished again as the Spirit of Goodyear. The Spirit of Goodyear, in particular, will be the oldest active, continuously operated airship ever, even eclipsing the venerable Graf Zeppelin, except for flight hours. As the week came to a close, it was time for final goodbyes. The airship team gathered for one last group photo to mark the end of another era in airship history.
The airship crew and their family members gathered to say goodbye, not just to the blimp, but to each other. Anytime the airship travels, the ground support team must travel with her. They will be gone for two weeks as they accompany the airship to Florida. So traveling with the blimp uh, sometimes can be a little hard on the families. Everybody goes with us. Everywhere we go, 21 guys go. So we got 16 ground crew, four pilots, and a PR manager. You know, and some of them ground crew are maintenance uh, for the airship, some are maintenance for our ground support equipment, and uh, some are electronics technicians, which also serve as our camera guys for aerial, aerial television broadcasts. Um, sometimes it'd be a little tough on the families. Um, however, a lot, of, a lot of times during the summers when the kids aren't in school and things like that, they get to travel around with us, and, so that makes it kind of nice. On the way, the crew will follow the blimp south along the eastern part of the United States and will stop to provide national network television duties at three major college football games. Once they reach Pompano Beach, Florida, the blimp will work for a short time before being decommissioned in the spring. Just like a military operation, the crew meets in the briefing room to discuss their trip, safety concerns, and any other business that needs addressed, including passing out a special commemorative pin. Got a pin for everybody. It'll be a little token of the fact that you were here for the last flight out of Wayne Lake. At the end of the meeting, crew members do their final checks and finish packing the support vehicles with all the necessary equipment for the trip. Back in the briefing room, pilots Michael Dougherty and Jerry Hissom check the weather forecast and discuss the flight plan to ensure a safe trip. Finally, the spirit of Goodyear is ready for her last takeoff. After serving 14 years, she leaves the ground never to touch down here again. Rounding the hangar one last time for the media gathered to record this historic event, the pilots brought the blimp down in a victory pass over the airfield. The spirit of Goodyear was aptly named. She will live on in the memories of those who operated her or saw her fly at numerous events. She now passes the torch of history on to her larger sister ship, the new Goodyear Blimp NT, who will continue Goodyear's 100-year legacy of airship excellence.